Hello and welcome to Dr. Say's English World. Welcome to our grammar series. This is going to be video number three in our grammar series. Uh, right now we are introducing the, the tenses. In videos number one and number two, we introduce the, pre the, the, the uh, present simple and frequency adverbs. In this video, which is number three, we are going to introduce the past simple or the simple past, call it whatever you want. أهلاً بكم في القناة. ده طبعاً هيكون الفيديو رقم ثلاثة في سلسلة القواعد اللي إحنا بنقدم فيها الأزمنة. في الفيديو الأول والثاني قدمنا المضارع البسيط وكمان اللي هي frequency adverbs. في الفيديو ده هنقدم إن شاء الله الماضي البسيط past simple or simple past. Actually, we are going to start with the formation of the tense. هنبدأ بالتكوين. Then we are going to introduce the regular and irregular verbs in the past and also verb to be in the past بعد كده هنقدم الأفعال القياسية والأفعال غير القياسية وكذلك verb to be في الماضي البسيط We're going to talk about, about the spelling of ED at the end of regular verbs هتكلم بعد كده عن uh, ED في نهاية الأفعال الأفعال القياسية طبعا And then we're going to talk about the pronunciation of ED هنتكلم عن نطق ال ED because it's highly important because a lot of us mispronounce the ED at the end of verbs. طبعا لأن العديد مننا يعني بينطق ال ED خطأ في نهاية كثير من الأفعال أو الكلمات. And then we are going to talk about the usage and we are going to provide some examples. هنتكلم بعد كده عن الاستخدام وهنقدم أمثلة. And then we will talk about the, the negation of the, the past simple or negative past simple. And then we are going to talk about the interrogation of the past simple or interrogative past simple. And finally, we are going to have an exercise. So let's go. Okay, let's start talking about formation. The formation of the present simple. Uh, we're going to talk about the formation with regard to uh, regular verbs and irregular verbs. خلينا نبدأ بالتكوين هنتكلم عن الأفعال القياسية ونتكلم على الأفعال اللي هي ال ال الشاذة أو غير القياسية. And we're going to start with regular verbs. In case of regular verbs, uh, you have got to add uh, ed or or d to the end of the verb. So في الأفعال القياسية هنضيف إما إيد أو دي للفعل depending on uh, the last letter of, of the verb okay so if you have a look at the verb like work for example remember I told you that any verb in English has three forms the conjugation of the verb okay uh, إحنا بنتكلم على تصريف ال ال الأفعال وعندنا ثلاث أشكال we have, the, we have present which is form one and then past which is form two and Uh, past participle which is uh, form 3 تصريف أول تصريف ثاني تصريف ثالث as we said or mentioned in all our videos زي ما كان زي ما بنذكر في كل ال الفيديوهات so if you have work as an example so form 1 is going to be work form 2 or the past is going to be worked and form 3 or the past participle is also going to be worked and not say that we We added ed at the end of the verb, and also for the past participle, we are going to add ed. And we see here that when we combine the the second and the third in the verbs, like work, we add ed to the end of the verb. Okay. So let's have a look at work. In the past simple, is going to be the worked. We are going to add ed to the verb. And by the way, pay attention to the pronunciation of ED. عايزك ت ت يعني طبعا نحن هنضيف ل work هنضيف لها ED عشان نكون اللي هو الماضي the past. لكن عايزك تهتم ااا بنقطة ال ED لأن في حالة work ال ED بتطلع ت so we say worked. Okay. Let's have a look at another verb. A verb like clean, for example. Again, we're going to add ED to ااا uh, The end of the verb is going to be cleaned. If you have a, a look at a verb like love, it ends in an e, 
That's why we are going to add only D. We don't need to add E D. الأفعال زي love طبعا هنضيف لها D فقط لأنها تنتهي ب E. And also live is the same. طبعا live برضو نفس العملية. We are going to add only D to the verb. So we added only D. طبعا live نفس الشيء. Okay, if if you look at a verb like play, a verb like play ends on Y, okay, preceded by a vowel. And these are the, the five vowels, the, the five vowel letters in English, A, E, I, O, and U. طبعاً دي الفعل Y هنا, آسف, الفعل play بينتهي Y قبلها حرف متحرك ودي الخمس حروف المتحركة اللي عندنا في اللغة الإنجليزية. And if you look at the the verb cry, it's it's different. How? <coughs> pardon, pardon. فعل uh, cry هنا مختلف له. It ends in a y preceded by a consonant. هنا بقى انتهى the y قبل حرف ساكن. And these are the twenty one uh, consonants or consonant letters. دي دي الحروف اللي هي ال consonants اللي هي السواكن. الواحد وعشرين اللي في اللغة الإنجليزية. So what's going to happen here? If we look at play, okay. So simply we're going to add ed, okay. في حالة play اللي فيها ال y قبل حرف متحرك ببساطة هنضيف ed. But in the case of cry, the situation is different. So what we're going to do is that we're going to delete the y and add i e d. Okay, let's now talk about the spelling of ED. Actually, we have different cases. Look at this case, which is case number one, verbs ending in two consonants. Look at, for example, and these are the 21 consonants. I always, you know, uh, refer to them. Look at the verb work. It ends in two consonants, R and K. And this case, what we're going to do is just add ED uh, at the end of the verb. So work becomes worked. Okay? This is the first case. خلينا نشوف بقى السبيلنج بتاع الـ ED في نهاية الأفعال. دي أول حالة عندنا ما يكون الفعل بينتهي بحرفين ساكنين زي work هنا طبعاً. ودي الحروف السواكن الأحرف السواكن الـ 21. في الحالات ببساطة بنضيف للفعل ED. Okay? Let's move to case number two. Verbs ending in one consonant preceded by two vowels, like, for example, the verb clean. Look at clean. It ends in one consonant, preceded by two vowels. الحالة الثانية, لو الفعل بينتهي بساكن واحد زي ال N, طبعا ال N consonant, here it is. Okay. Preceded by, آسف, قبله حرفين متحركين, uh, so simply we add, uh, and, and by the way, these are the five vowel uh, letters. So we simply add ed uh, at the end of the verb. It's like number one exactly. زي رقم واحد بالضبط هنضيف ed. So number one and two are are similar, or, or the same. Okay, let's have a look at the third case. Verbs ending in the vowel e, like for example the, the verb love, and simply we add. Uh, the letter D to the verb, okay. طبعا لو بنتهي بـ المنطق إن إحنا هنضيف D فقط, okay. Now verbs ending in Y, like for example play, okay. Preceded by it's, it's, uh, play ends in a Y preceded by one vowel, okay. And in this case. We simply add ed at the end of the verb. طبعا هنا في الحالة دي لو الواي آسف الفعل بينتهي بواي قبلها حرف متحرك واحد هو بنضيف ed لنهاية الفعل. As we explained before. طبعا we explained all these points in the previous slide. شرحنا طبعا كل الكلام ده في الشريحة اللي فاتت. But we are going to add more information in this slide. Okay, if, if the verb ends in Y preceded by a consonant, okay, لو ينتهي بواي قبل حرف ساكن, so what we're going to do is, what you, you, you know, we're going to delete the Y and add I, E, D. لو ينتهي بواي قبل حرف ساكن, 
هنعمل ايه؟ هن هنحذف 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 الواي وهنضيف اي 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 دي. اوكي، let's have a look at the uh, fourth case الحالة الرابعة. One syllable verbs ending at one consonant preceded by one vowel. اوكي؟ okay. like stop for example. هنا مثلا عندي الفعل ده ده one syllable verb يعني فعل مكون من مقطع واحد، فعل قصير بمعنى آخر يعني. بينتهي بحرف ساكن اللي هو طبعا حرف ال P preceded by one vowel وقبله حرف متحرك واحد so in this case what we do is the following we just double the consonant and add ED في الحالة دي بقى هنضاعف الحرف الساكن اهو ضعف دبل P وضفنا AD okay let's have a look at another example We have plan. Plan ends in N, which is one consonant, preceded by one vowel, the letter A. So it's similar to stop. What we're going to do is the same. We're going to double the N, okay? And we're going to, to add ED, okay? Let's have a look at uh, this exceptional case. By the way, W and uh, uh, are exceptions. طبعا دبليو اكس يا جماعه تعتبر حالات استثنائيه او حالات شاذه. اوف كورس اف يو لوك ات ذا فيرب سنو ذا فيرب سنو اندز ان دبليو ويتش از ا كونسوننت بريسيدد باي ون فاول اند سنو از ا ون سيلبل فيرب. لو بصيت للسنو هتلاقيه نفس نفس ستوب وبلان من ناحيه ايه؟ انه بينتهي حرف ساكن واحد قبله متحر متحرك واحد. فاكوردنج تو اور رول وي ار سبوز تو دبل The W, but we are not going to do this. طبعا طبعا طبقا للقاعدة المفروض ان احنا نعمل doubling لل W بس احنا مش هنعمل كده. And I'm going to tell you why. هقول لكم ليه. So now we are going just to add ED. We are not going to double the W. If, because when we, when we add ED or any ending to, the, uh, to, 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 to any verb, we depend uh, basically on pronunciation rather than spelling يعني احنا لما بنيجي نضيف نهايه زي الاي دي لاي فعل احنا بنعتمد على النطق اكثر من التهجي يعني if you look at the word snow this is the pronunciation of the word snow ده نط ده نط الكلمه snow it ends in a diphthong and a diphthong consists of two vowels لو بصينا للسنو هنا يا جماعه هنلاقيها بتنتهي ب ب ب حاجه بنسميها احنا في, في علم الصوتيات ديفثونج وعباره عن تو سكسيسيف فاولز يعني اثنين فاولز كاصوات سنو ورا بعض ف ان ذيس كيس وي دونت كونسيدر دبليو از ا كونسوننت ما بنعتبرش دبليو كونسوننت ما بنعتبرهاش زي مثلا البي الان او البي فعشان كده بنضيف لها اي دي اف يو لوك ات فور اكزامبل Okay. If you look at fix, okay, okay, fix ends in uh, x, which is a consonant, preceded by i, which is a vowel, and we're supposed to double the, the, the x, but we're not going to do this. Again, we're, we're going to add only ed. برضو في حالة fix. نفس العملية بتنتهي ب x اللي هو consonant قبلها vowel واحد. المفروض إحنا نتبع القاعدة بإن إحنا ن نعمل دبلنج للإكس لكن برضه ما عملناش دبلنج. Why? We added only ED. Why? If you look at the pronunciation of fix, بصوا كده على نوت fix, I will notice that it ends in two consonants. هتلاقي إنها بتنتهي باثنين سواكن K and S. Okay? So it is like the first case. It's like work. أصبحت في الحالة دي زي الحالة الأولى اللي هي work and that's why we added ED. Okay, let's now deal with the pronunciation of the ED at the end of regular verbs. خلونا الوقت نتكلم على نط ال ED في نهاية الأفعال اللي هي القياسية. And by the way, it's highly important because a lot of us mispronounce the ED at the end of the regular verbs. طبعا يعني نسبة كبيرة جدا مننا بتنطق غلط. Whether whether the 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 students or the teachers. Okay, so, يعني, يعني, unfortunately, both students and teachers. 
طبعا للاسف يعني يعني مش بس التلاميذ حتى المدرسين اوكي okay. ed is pronounced in, in, in at the end of verbs as uh, in, in three different ways طبعا ed تتنطق بطرق مختلفه as ta or as d or as ed okay let's have a look at the pronunciation of ed as as ta Uh, طبعا ال ED بتتنطق في, في نهاية الأفعال بثلاث طرق مختلفة إما ت أو د أو إد أوكي ليتس ستارت وذ ذا برونسيشن أوف إيدي أز ت نشوف كده نطقها كت أفتر فيربز إندينج إن ب ساوند ذا ب ساوند فور إكزامبل وي هاف هير هيلبت سو وي سي هيلبت أند ذيس إز ذا فونيتيك ترانسكريبشن أوف Uh, the verb. دي الكتابة الصوتية helped. Okay. هنا فا ال 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 ed بعد ب sound اتنطى ت sound. So don't say helped. Say helped. Okay. After ك. So we have here book. Uh, I'm sorry look. Even book is right. Look. So we have here looked. Okay. This is the phonetic transcription of The verb. طبعا هنا الكتابة الصوتية للفعل. After ف uh, sound, the F. Okay. Snuff, snuffed. After uh, GH, pronounced as ف sound. طبعا GH لما تتنطق كالصوت ف. Like laugh, we say laughed. Okay. Uh, after uh, SH, so we say washed. Okay. And this is the phonetic transcription of the verb. After ch, as uh, pronounced as ch, so for example, we have here watched, watched, and this, this is the phonetic transcription of the verb. After uh, ss, as in, for example, kiss, kissed. Okay. After the little c, pronounced as s. طبعا بعد الحرف سي عندما ينطق ك ك ك اس because sometimes uh, you know the, the letter c is pronounced as as ك sound as for example in the word cancer so the word cancer has two c letters one is pronounced as ك as can and then the other one one is pronounced as uh, cancer okay so when the letter C is pronounced as S, as in danced. Okay, this is the phonetic transcription. And after X, as in, for example, fix, fixed. Okay. So this is actually all about the, the uh, verb endings, after which we pronounce the ED as T. D, الأحرف اللي بعدها بننطق الـ ED كت pay attention to them this is the most you know, problematic area and the most important طبعا نطقها كت هو أهم حاجة هو هي النطقة النطقة اللي فيها مشاكل uh, but as for the D and the E uh, uh, the D and E they are very easy I mean we automatically pronounce them you know uh, properly طبعا هنا بالنسبة للـ D والـ E احنا تلقائيا بنطقهم صح Yeah, to a great extent, طبعا لحد كبير يعني. So let's have a look at uh, verbs, okay? Uh, uh, or, 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 uh, verb, the verb endings after which the, the ed is pronounced as uh, as ت. خلينا نشوف كده الأفعال اللي هي uh, نهايات الأفعال اللي بعدها بتتنطع ال ed كد sound. After uh, the letter b, the b as in uh, rubbed. Also, uh, the g sound, uh, damaged, damaged, okay. After uh, L as in uh, cold, M as in calmed, N as in uh, cleaned, R as in offered. After S pronounced as as z. لما يكون حرف الاس بينطق بك z. Okay, like for example, refused. So the S here is pronounced as a Z. 
after the V waved after the Z or, a, or Z amazed okay Let, let's have a look at uh, uh, the, the verb endings after which the ED is pronounced as it خلنا شو لدنا نشوف أكيد آخر حاجة لي نهايات الأفعال اللي بعدها بتتنطع الإيدي كأد طبعا after ت and okay only ت and so and we have here wanted and <coughs> needed or landed for example I've actually prepared this uh, list of uh, uh, regular verbs ending in ed, which is pronounced as a t sound. And actually, there are a lot of verbs. The قائمة أنا أجهزتها فيها الأفعال اللي هي بتنتهي ed وتنطق كت sound. There are a lot of them. So, for example, announced, cooked, walked, uh, talked, finished, typed, danced, watched, looked, missed, rushed, hoped, wished, trust practiced, coughed, helped, and I've gone to read in all of them, developed, stepped, wrapped, discussed, laughed, brushed, reduced, escaped, jumped, promised, touched, fixed, okay, checked, rehearsed, pushed, faked, uh, placed, okay? So pay attention to the pronunciation of the ED as T, please. طبعا دي قائمة فيها مجموعة من الأفعال اللي فيها ال ED بتتنطق كت فأرجو الاهتمام بها. Let's now talk about irregular verbs, okay? Uh, as I keep repeating, any form has three, uh, I'm sorry, any verb has three forms. Form one which is present, form two which is uh, pass and form three, which is uh, I'm, I'm just activating the uh, laser pointer. Form one, which is uh, uh, present, form two, which is pass, and form three, which is the past possible. All the time, they may occur. I feel you look at the tasrifat. Uh, the tasrif al-awal mudara, the tasrif al-tan al-madi, and the tasrif al-talit, the low past possible. If we have a, a look at, for example, go, this is present. The past is went, and the past participle is, is gone. For example, go, مثلا, at the first one, go, and the first one, went, and the first one, went, and the first one, gone. A verb like see, we have saw, seen, okay? So the past is saw. A verb like meet, met, met, the past is met, eat, ate, Eaten, okay. So the past is eight. Let's have a look, for example. So in, in case we are going to use uh, go in, in, in the past simple, so we're going to use went, okay. طبعا هنا لو هنستخدم مثلا الفعل go في الماضي البسيط فهنستخدم went. If we're going to use see, so we're going to use uh, so. لو هنستخدم see فطبعا هنستخدم so التصريف الثاني. If we're going to use meet Okay, so we're going to use met for eat, we're going to have eight. Okay, and because of eight, I'm, I have a question for you. طبعا هنا في الماضي البسيط هنستخدم طبعا التصريف الثاني. Okay, وبنسبة eight, أنا عندي بس سؤال لكم. Why is ten afraid of seven? This is sort of, you know, a riddle. ده زي لغز كده يعني مثلا. Uh, why is ten لل عشرة afraid of seven خايفة من السبعة? Why? Do you know the answer? Anyhow, uh, the answer is because seven, eight, nine. And by the way, eight has the same pronunciation of the number eight. Okay? نفس نوت التمانية هو نفس the past form of the verb eat. نوت الحرف آسف الرقم 8 هو نفس نوت التصريف الثاني للفعل eat so هو 8 so 8 the number and 8 the past form of verb eat are the same 
Okay, now, now, now let's have a look at uh, verb to be in the past simple. I don't show a verb to be in the past simple. And as you know, any verb, as I keep repeating, any, any verb has three forms. For, form one is the present, so we have to remember verb to be. Uh, in the present, we have am, is, and are. In the past, we have was and were. And the past participle, we have uh, been or, or been. And in this case, we are going to use was and were because we are talking about the, the past simple. Taman, خلونا نشوف verb to be في الماضي البسيط. قلنا أي فعل له ثلاث تصرفات. في المضارع عندنا am, is, or are. وفي الماضي عندنا was, or were. وفي التصريف الثالث been or been. وطبعا طالما بنتكلم عن الماضي البسيط بقى نستخدم was, or were. So let's see uh, when we are going to use uh, uh, when we are going to use was and when we are going to use were. Actually with 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 the pronouns I, he, she, and it, okay, we use was. And with the pronouns you, we, and they, we use were, okay. Here we use I, he, she, and it, we use was. Now you, we, and they, we use were, okay. Uh, let's have a look at some examples. I was here last year, so I was, okay. They were absent yesterday. They were. Okay. Okay, let's now talk about uses of the past simple. Okay, and also give some examples. Uh, we use the past simple to express an action that began and ended in the past or a finished action. طبعا احنا هنتكلم وقت عن استخدامات الماضي البسيط. الماضي البسيط بيستخدم بالتعبير عن حدث. بدأ أو انتهى في الماضي حدث منتهي. It's actually used with time indicators such as دي طبعا الكلمات الدالة على الزمن. We have got yesterday, last, ago, in in 2018 or any past date. طبعا 2018 أو أي تاريخ ماضي يعني. In all in all in or ancient times. Once once upon a time. And in the in the past, okay. Of course, there are other uh, time indicators. Some of the كلمات أخرى دلة على الزمن. Okay, let's now have a look at some examples. They arrived home late yesterday. If you look at this sentence, so we have here uh, the verb arrived, and it is the past form of the verb arrive. Okay. تمام عندنا arrived. دا ال الماضي من الفعل arrive. We only added D uh, to the verb because the verb actually ends in the letter E. هنا أضفنا D فقط لأن الفعل بينتهي بE. And yesterday is the, the, the time indicator or uh, the, the, the tense expression. طبعا yesterday هي الكلمة الدالة على الزمن. Let's have a look at other examples. She went to Luxor a year ago. Okay. So went here is the past form of the verb go. طبعا هنا وين التصريف الثاني من الفعل go and go is the time indicator go هنا كلمة دالة على الزمن let's have a look at other examples number three they left Egypt in 1990 and 1990 is a past date احنا now it is 2022 احنا حاليا في 2022 uh, فطبعا اي تاريخ قبل 2022 يصبح ماضي so they left Egypt in 1990. Of course, left is the past form of the verb leave. Left here, the تصريف الثاني من الفعل leave. And as I said, in 1990, 1990, this is the the tense indicator. Okay. Now this is the second usage to express past habits and repeated actions. الاستخدام الثاني للتعبير عن العادات اللي كانت في الماضي أو الأحداث اللي كانت متكررة في الماضي. Let's have a look at some examples. Last year I played football every Friday. So here played is the past form of the verb play. طبعا هنا played التصريف الثاني من فعل play. It's a regular verb. And last is the, the, the tense indicator. Last هي كلمة دالة على الزمن. لما نبص للجملة دي I, Last year I played football every Friday. Have, this is a repeated action or in the past. طبعا أنا 
الجملة معناها السنة اللي فاتت كنت بلعب كرة كل يوم جمعة أوكي فهذا معناها أن هذه كانت عادة في الماضي كانت متكررة في الماضي Let's have a look at another example Last summer I went to the beach every Friday Okay So went is the past form of the verb go طبعا last هنا اللي هي ال الماضي من الفعل go دي كانت uh, it was a, a, a past habit or a repeated action in the past دي طبعا دي كانت عادة في الماضي uh, last summer الصيف اللي فات I went to the beach every Friday كنت بروح للشاطئ كل uh, كل جمعة and by the way uh, if you look at the word, beach, the word beach you know please don't pronounce it uh, bitch okay because a lot of, 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 of Arab speakers of English shorten this vowel and pronounce beach as bitch okay so please it's a, comp a completely different meaning Okay, from how the to call me beach, ka beach. Okay, like for example, teach. A lot of people say teach. Okay. Let's talk about more uses of the past symbol and give some examples. Using the past symbol to express hypothetical condition or a real, a real past. خلينا نتكلم على المزيد من استخدامات الماضي البسيط استخدام to express hypothetical condition اللي هو الشرط الافتراضي أو unreal past and in this case we are going to use it with if the second conditional okay the second conditional اللي هو الحالة الثانية من قاعدة if نستخدم فيها الحالة في الحالة دي بنستخدم الماضي البسيط let's have a look at some examples if I were you I'm sorry. If he were, if he were you, he would marry her. Okay. If you look at the if clause, لو بصينا لجملة if هنا, we say if he were. Okay. The usual thing is to say if he was. طبعا الشيء العادي حتى لما بعبر عن الماضي البسيط مع he. بقول he was وليس he were. Okay. Why? Because actually. This is the, it's supposed to be the right thing to say if he was, you, he takes was, right? But it's not right. We are going to say if he were, not if he was. هنا مش هنقول يا جماعة if he uh, was واللي احنا بنفترض ان هي الاستخدام الصحيح في الماضي البسيط بنقول he was ما بنقولش he were لكن هنا في الحالة دي هنقول he were, okay? And as you all know, زي ما انتم كلكم عارفين, I, he, she and it take what they take. It takes was in the past simple. طبعا بتاخد was في الماضي البسيط. And you, we, and they take where. Okay. طبعا you, we, and they بيأخذ where في الماضي البسيط. But in this case, the second conditional, the unreal past, we're we're going to use where with all subject pronouns or all subjects. في الحالة دي هنستخدم where مع مع كل الضمائر سواء مفرد او جمع او مع اي فاعل فاعل مفرد او فاعل جمع اوكي let's have a look at another example if i were a bird i would fly high in the sky لو كنت طائر هطير عالي في السماء طبعا again it's number two is similar to number one هنا مثلا جملة رقم واحد if, if he were you لو كان هو مكانك he would marry her. Can I go with her? Here, if I were a bird, لو كنت طائر, I would fly high in the sky. Again, we're using if. This is the if clause, and I were. I don't say I was. Okay. I would, and this is the the main clause. I would fly high in the sky. Okay. We have here would, and infinitive. طبعا نحنا هنا في ال في المين كلاوز في ال second conditional. الجملة الرئيسية اللي هنا هنا he would marry her أو I would fly high in the sky بنستخدم what زائد اللي هو المصدر أو what we call the infinitive without to في الجملة اللي هي الجملة الرئيسية اللي هي الجملة الثانية بنستخدم what زائد التصريف الأول. Okay now let's 
move to a, a, another usage of the, the past simple. خلينا نشوف استخدام آخر للماضي البسيط to express supposition. التعبير عن الافتراض. Uh, it's used with expressions like wish, as if, and suppose. Okay. ده الاستخدام الرابع للماضي البسيط للتعبير عن الافتراض بنستخدمه مع تعبيرات اللي هي wish, as if, and suppose. Let's have a look at some examples. I wish I had your talent. I, here, we have wish, and I had your talent. And by the way, uh, I takes have, okay? يقولها معناها أتمنى لو كان عندي نفس مهارتك. يعني معتاد ان احنا نقول I have, okay? لأن uh, look at, uh, for example, the three forms of the verb have. Have is form one, the تصريف الأول. Had is form two, the تصريف الثاني, which I, I use in here. Had the تصريف الثاني اللي أنا بستعمله هنا. And had is the past participle. Uh, had برضو التصريف الثالث. أنا استخدمت هذا اللي هو الماضي لأن أنا this is uh, this is what I'm supposed to do. لأن أنا هنا بعبر عن uh, الماضي الغير حقيقي. فما اقدرش استخدم هاف I, I, I use had okay so in this case I cannot say I wish I have your talent okay the right choice is I wish I had your talent let's have a look at another example you look as if you wanted to ask something I have as if here طبعا خلوني بس حتى كمان اترجم الجملة دي قبل ما اتكلم على الجملة الثانية هنا بقول أتمنى لو كانت عندي موهبتك، okay. Uh, even in Arabic, I think it has got a, you know, this sense of past, okay. يعني حتى في العربي في هذا الإحساس بالماضي. لو كانت عندي موهبتك، okay. Let's go back to number two. You look as if يبدو وكأنك you wanted to ask something. Uh, أردت أن تسأل عن شيء. So here, because of as if we don't say you want, we say you wanted. So wanted is the past form of uh, the verb want. طبعا هنا استخدمنا الماضي البسيط want فعل قياسي حتى نرى ed ومش هنستعمل المضارع مش هنقول want لا هنقول wanted. Okay. Let's have a look at uh, a third example. Suppose I ask you to replace me. افرض ان انا طلبت منك انك تحلي محلي. I asked you to replace me. هنا here we use uh, the past form of ask, which is asked. طبعا هنا استخدم الماضي البسيط من ask التصريف الثاني. ونوت طبعا ال ed هنا. Do you remember? We we pronounce the ed as t. I asked you to replace me. Okay, let's talk about used to uh, plus the, the infinitive. خلونا نتكلم على used to. زائد المصدر. Okay, uh, and by the way, the, the, this is the pronunciation of used to. This is the phonetic transcription. The كتابة الصوتية used to. I don't mention the d. Okay. أنا طبعا يعني I don't pronounce the d. ما بنطقش ال d خالص. It, it used to. Okay. Uh, used to refers to a habit in the past that no longer exists at present. هي بتشير إلى عادة كانت موجودة في الماضي ولم تعد موجودة في الوقت الحاضر. For example, I used to go to school on foot, now I go by bus. I used to go here, this is the infinitive. كنت معتاد الذهاب إلى المدرسة سيرا على الأقدام, now I go by bus والوقت بروح بالباص. Okay, another example. I used to live in Demeter, now I live in Port Said. كنت معتاد ان انا اعيش في دمياط والوقت بعيش في بورسعيد. Okay, let's have a look at the, the, the negation of used to. Enough uh, used to. And this is what we're going to have. Uh, we're going to have didn't and then uh, uh, used to and then the infinitive. And by the way, uh, we can also, if you look here, we can use Used to, I mean without the D. Both are right, with the D and without the D. طبعا احنا هنا هنستخدم did not في حالة النفي زائد 
يوز تو سواء كان فيها الدي او بدون الدي الحالتين صح اوكي سو بوث كيسز ار رايت ممكن بالدي او ممكن بدون الدي Let's have a look at an example. Look here, I didn't use to drive to work. And look here, we have the D here. Here. هنا طبعا في المثال ده الدي موجود. Or you can say, I didn't use, I didn't use to drive to work. Here, we don't have the D. Okay? في المثال الأولاني الدي موجودة. في المثال الثاني الدي مش موجودة. Both are right. كلا المثالين صحيح. Now let's look at the interrogation or asking questions. خلينا نشوف. الاستفهام and this is what we are going to have we are going to have did plus the, uh, the subject طبعا ناخذ عندي did وبعدين الفاعل وبعدين and then used to and, and then the verb and finally we are going to have the question mark يبقى ده الترتيب عندي did وبعدين الفاعل وبعدين used to وبعدين الفعل and the question mark and by the way I have used to here okay and again we can delete the d so both are right with the d and without the d ممكن أقول used to أو used to بدون d it's the same like you know the negative form نفس النفي بالضبط okay so let's have uh, a look at some examples Let's have a look at a yes no question. Did you use to drive to work? Okay, and look here, we have the D, okay, and you can delete the D. So, did you use to drive to work? Both are right. And let's have a look at a WH question. Where did you, you use to live? And again, I can say, where did you use to live without the D? Let's just talk about the negation of the past simple. We're going to start with the negation of uh, verb to be. And by verb to be here, I mean was and were. Okay, خلينا نبدأ في الحديث عن نفي المضارع البسيط. وهنبدأ بنفي verb to be. وطبعا verb to be احنا نقصد به اللي هو was were in the past. في الماضي طبعا بتكون was were. Okay. Add not after the verb. So this is what we are going to do. Just add not after the verb. Verb to be. After was uh, and were. And uh, if not, but was, were. So this is what we are going to do. Adding not after the verb. So let's have a look at some examples. I was here yesterday. This is the first example. I was here yesterday. So. How are we going to change this into negative? What we're going to do is that we're going to insert or put not after was. Okay? Here, of course, I have the I was here yesterday. I have to put not after was. So let's see what was going to happen. So I was here yesterday. So I'm going to use not. I was not here yesterday. طبعا I was here yesterday حطيت not أصبحت I was not here yesterday Okay, we can also say uh, wasn't So I can use the, the, the short form of was not ممكن برضو أقول uh, wasn't اللي هو الشكل the contracted form of was, was not اللي هو الشكل المختصر the was not So I was not here yesterday Okay, let's have uh, a look at another example. They, they were absent. They were absent, for example, uh, a week ago, last yesterday, in any past time. I'll show you the tani. They were absent. So let's see what is going to happen. I'm going to insert not after where. I'll put not about uh, where. Okay, so, so let's have a look at what's going to happen. They were not absent, okay? And also I can say they, they weren't absent. ممكن كمان أقول 
they weren't طبعا were not the long form اللي هو الغير مختصر weren't the contracted or the short form we weren't الشكل اللي هو المختصر okay now let's move to the negation of the lexical verbs and by lexical verbs we mean uh, verbs like uh, visit and uh, go دي طبعا الافعال اللي هي لها معنى هنشوف هننفي الافعال اللي لها معنى the visit and by the way visit is a regular verb and go is an irregular verb طبعا visit فعل قياسي we go فعل غير قياسي and we talked about this before okay so let's have a look at what is going to happen ايه اللي هيحصل I did not or didn't okay before So you add did not or didn't before the verb and change the verb into uh, infinitive. احنا نعمل ايه؟ هنحط هنضيف did not او didn't هنحطهم قبل الفعل ونحول الفعل للانفينيتيف اللي هو التصريف الاول بدون اي زياده. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples. Look at this sentence. I visited Aswan a week ago. هنا طبعا أنا زرت أسوان من أسبوع. Visited is the regular verb and it's it's in the past. It contains ed. So have a look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to to put uh, did not or didn't before visited. Have a look. I did not. Visited us one a week ago. Of course, we are going to what we are going to do is that we are going to delete the ed. So it's going to be I did not visit us one a week ago. طبعا هنا بعد ما حطيت did not قبل visited حذفت ال a ال ed فتصبح الجملة I did not visit us one a week ago. Okay, now let's have a look at another example, and this example contains a And a regular verb. I'll show you the third one. We have a regular verb. I went to Aswan a week ago. So what we're going to do is that we're going to put did not or didn't before went. So let's have a look at what is going to happen. I'll put did not after went. We'll see what happens. I okay. This time I'm going to use didn't. I didn't and went. I change went into go. I didn't go to Aswan a week ago. Let's now talk about inter interrogative uh, past simple or asking questions in the past simple. خلينا نشوف إذا هنسأل أسئلة في 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 الماضي البسيط. Okay, I'm going to start with uh, verb to be. هنبدأ ب verb to be. And as you know, in the past simple we have was and were. Okay, so. Let's start by asking you yes no questions. I'll start with yes no questions, and let's have a look at this sentence. Sentence number one: He was uh, in Cairo, and and then I'm going to have a full stop. This is a statement. طبعا دي نقوم لخبرية. He was in Cairo. Okay. Let's see how we're going to change it into a yes no question. هنشوف ازاي نحولها لسؤال اجابته بنعم او لا اللي هو yes no question we're going to make a sort of inversion between he and was احنا هنعمل نوع من ال inversion inversion يعني 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 تغيير مثلا instead of of saying he was is going to be was he okay هذا بنسميه inversion I don't know how to translate it you know into Arabic Uh, تبديل yes it, it's inversion معناها تبديل so he was is, is going to be was he okay so he was is going to be uh, was he okay he was was he okay and we're going to have in Cairo as it is because it's a yes no question in Cairo to as a here okay but is that all was he in Cairo is it a, a correct yes no question طبعا هنا هنا هو ده سؤال فعلا اصبح اصبحت سؤال yes no was he in Cairo but I need to to make some changes لازم اعمل شويه تغييرات so if you look here at the w uh, and the word was it, it, it's small, a small letter 
Okay, so I'm going to change it into a capital letter. طبعا W هنا كانت حرف صغير هحولها إلى حرف capital because in this sentence it was in the middle of the sentence but now it's it's at the beginning of the sentence. طبعا هي هنا كانت في وسط الجملة فخلاص كان بتبدأ بحرف small لكن هنا أصبحت في بداية الجملة فبحير بغير الحرف small لحرف capital أو حرف كبير. I I also want you to have a look at he so because he is you know at the beginning of the sentence here طبعا هنا هي في بداية الجملة but when I have it in the middle of the sentence I'm going to change the capital H into a small h okay one more thing في نقطة تانية كمان look here I have a full stop and it's a question so I'm going to change the full stop into a question mark وغير ال النقطة إلى علامة استفهام. So this is the right question. Was he in Cairo? Okay. Let's have a look at another example or another sentence. Number two. They were absent. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing. The inversion or تبديل. هعمل نفس الشيء. So I'm going to do the same thing. So where is going to be at the beginning of the sentence, and they is going to be after where. So they were is going to be where they. طبعا هنا نفس العملية. They were had to be where they, and absent is just going to come down as it is. هتنزل زي ما هي هنا كده. Okay. And I'm going to make the same changes. I'm going to change this W into a capital W. So where, and this T, I'm going to change it into a small T. Okay. And here. I'm going to change the full stop into a question mark. نفس العملية نفس اللي عملته فوق. In number one, okay, I make it in number two. اللي عملته في نمرة واحد عملته في نمرة اثنين. Okay. So now let's have a look at what we call WH questions. خلينا بقى نشوف هنا اللي هي WH questions. Number A was your yes no questions. طبعا A كانت اللي هي yes no. هنا هن هن هنتكلم عن WH questions. And in the case of the WH questions, we use question words. طبعا في ال WH questions هنستخدم كلمات استفهام. Okay. Like for example, look at this sentence. He was in Cairo. Okay. هو كان في القاهرة. Suppose that I want to ask a question about in Cairo. If I then I just ask about the location in Cairo. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to use where. هستخدم كلمة الاستفهام where okay and I'm going to I'm going to to do the same thing I mean with regard to the inversion so he was is going to be was he so where was he okay where was he أين كان and I'm going to have the the question mark وحط علامة الاستفهام أين كان يبقى he was in Cairo أين كان كان في القاهرة okay Now let's move to what we call the lexical verbs. By lexical verbs, I'm talking about verbs like live and go. هنا بقى خلونا نتكلم على الأفعال اللي هي لها معنى زي live and go. Okay. The situation is a little bit different here. طبعا هنا الموقف يعني مختلف شوي. Well, I'm going to start with yes no questions, and in the case of yes no questions, I'm going to use did. Okay. هبدأ بالـ yes no questions أو الأسئلة اللي إجابتها نعم أو لا. في الحالة دي هستخدم did as a helping verb. هستخدم did كفعل مساعد. So for example if I have this sentence, Islam lived in the middle. Okay. So in this case what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start with did. في الحالة دي هبدأ بـ did. And I'm going to have the same sentence. نفس الجملة هاي. Islam lived in Demeter. Okay. Did Islam lived in Demeter? Of course, I'm going to make some changes. طبعا مش هقول هعمل بعض التغييرات. بدأت بديد. نفس الجملة هنا زلتها. لكن look here. I've got to delete the D because of did. I'm going to delete the D. بسبب did طبعا بلغي ال D. برجع الفعل. So I I take the verb back to the 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 form one or the infinitive. بأخذ الفعل إلى التصريف الأول أو المصدر. Okay, because of did. 
end of it I have full stop here so I'm going to uh, delete it and have a question mark so the question is going to be did Islam live in Dumit okay let's have another example in which we have uh, an irregular verb because live is a regular verb live so let's have a look at this sentence Fatma saw a film okay Fatma is my little daughter my youngest daughter actually uh, Fatma saw a film and so as I said is uh, an irregular verb uh, so what what we're going to do in the following we're going to use did and again we're going to have the same sentence did Fatma saw a film of course we're going to change so into C okay and غير so إلى C this is the 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 infinitive and again we're going to delete the full stop and add a question mark okay now let's move to the WH questions خلونا بقى نتنقل الوقت اللي هي WH questions الأسئلة اللي هي بكلمات استفهام uh, and I have here some uh, WH, uh, uh, some, some you know, question words. And the Bible Kalimat Islam here, uh, only some, you know, where, why, uh, what, and uh, when. Uh, and the Arba Kalimat. Uh, of course, there are so much more than this. Tama Kalimat Islam Kitira, okay? And I, and I give to Bas Arba. So uh, we're going to use any of. Uh, uh, in one of these question words in addition to did. طبعا في حالة WH questions هنستخدم كلمة استفهام بالإضافة إلى did. Okay. So let's have a look at if I want to ask a question about this sentence Islam lived in Dumitra. Okay. افرض أن أنا عايز أسأل سؤال على Islam lived in Dumitra and I want to ask about the place. عايز أسأل على المكان اللي هو in Dumitra. So in this case I'm going to use where هستخدم where and did. Okay. A word did, and then Islam lived. Of course, I'm going to delete the D. طبعاً هحط هحذف اللي هو D. Okay, and I'm going to put a question mark. Okay. فنفس العملية هستخدم كلمة استفهام did وبعدين برجع الفعل اللي هو التصريف الثاني برجع له التصريف الأول. Okay, let's ask a question on uh, number two. Fatma saw a film. Okay, خلينا نسأل سؤال على جملة الثانية. Fatma شاهدت فيلم. I want to ask about a film. هسأل على كلمة فيلم. يعني هقول ماذا شاهدت Fatma. Okay, so I'm going to use what, ماذا, and did. Okay, and I'm going to have the sentence here. What did Fatma? And I'm going to change so into see. And I'm going, to, I'm going to have a question mark. Okay, let's now have a summary of the past simple. Okay, so this diagram is going to introduce to you a summary of everything we introduced in this video. So we're going to start with the, the usage, the different uses of, of the past simple. So we're going to talk about the different uses of the past simple. الاستخدامات المختلفة للماضي البسيط. أول حاجة عندي uh, number one actions that began and ended in the past. الأحداث اللي uh, بدأت وانتهت في الماضي. And this is an example. They arrived home late yesterday. Number two past habits and repeated actions. طبعا الحاجات اللي كانت متكررة أو العادات for example, last year I played football every Friday. Okay, let's have a look at the third usage. 
hypothetical conditional و unreal past if I were a bird I would fly high in the sky طبعا الاستخدام الثالث اللي هو الحالة الفرضية أو الماضي الافتراضي وهنا عطينا مثال number four supposition الافتراض أو الافتراضية suppose I asked you to replace me number five used to and it, ex it expresses past habits that no longer exist طبعا used to بتعبر عن عادات لم تعد موجودة كانت موجودة في الماضي وما عادتش موجودة I used to go to school on foot, now I go by bus. Now let's move to the time expressions used with the past simple. شوف كده التعبيرات اللي بتستخدم معاه. We have yesterday, last ago, in 2012, in olden or ancient times, once, once upon a time, in the past. Now let's move to talking about the formation of uh, the past simple. We're going to start with the formation of verb to be. I'm going to talk about the verb to be. I'm going to talk about I, he, she, and it, all of these uh, subject pronouns take was. Of course, he, she, and it take was. You, we, and they take were. Okay. Let's talk now about formation of the lexical verbs. Let's see what the words have meaning. Uh, regular verbs, visit. Becomes visited. طبعا visit تصريف الأول بتبقى visited اللي هو تصريف الثاني. The regular verbs go becomes went. طبعا الأفعال الشاذة go تصبح went. Let's talk about the negation of the past simple. خلينا كده نتكلم على النف. And we're going to start with negation of verb to be. Was becomes wasn't. Were becomes weren't or were not. Was not. Okay. Lexical verbs did not or didn't visit or did not or didn't go. Okay. Now let's talk about the interrogation. I will استفهام. Verb to be. He was becomes was he. They were become were they. We have what we call the uh, inversion. عملية العكس بنعكس. He was to be was he. They were. Uh, becomes where they. Uh, as for the lexical verbs, we, say, we we use did. So we say did he, did they, did she, did Ahmed, and so on. So this diagram shows you everything we introduced in this video. Okay, let's have an exercise. It shows the best answer from A, B, C, or D. خلينا نشوف كده التمرين. اختار الإجابة الصحيحة. Yesterday he claims, is claiming, claim, claimed that he saw me with, with the convict. So of course we are going to, cho to choose claimed D. Okay. Number two. This occurred, occurs, is occurring, occur. Long time ago, I cannot remember the details. So of course the right choice is occurred. Number three. Which of the following regular verbs has ED pronounced as T? أي واحد من الأفعال اللي هي القياسية اللي موجودة دول تنطق ED في كـ T sound? Of course, all of them. Why? Because I say here booked, helped, and washed. So, of course, the ED here is for booked, helped, washed. Don't talk about it. Okay, number four. Have you ever seen him before? Yes, I him in a conference in London last summer. Yes, I have seen. So, C has seen. And of course, the answer is I saw him. Number five. World War II, or the Second World War, the death of millions of people. Causes, cause, caused, is causing. And of course, the right answer is caused. Number six. I to bed late yesterday. I'm going, went, go, have gone. So the right answer is I went. Number seven. Did you... Any games when you were young? Did you 
used to play, used to playing, were playing, was playing. And the right answer, did you used to play? If I, you, I would find another job. If I am, was being, were, have been. So the right answer is, if I were. Ahmed, meet me in the meeting last night. Ahmed, doesn't, didn't, hasn't, haven't. Of course, the right answer is, Ahmed didn't meet me. Did Rukaya to Fatma's birthday party last July? So, did Rukaya comes, came, come, was coming? And the right answer is, did Rukaya come? This is actually the end of video number three in which we uh, introduced the past simple. Inshallah, in video number four, we're again going to uh, uh, talk about the past simple, but this time we're going to talk about the unreal past. And uh, until I see you in the next video, I wish you the best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.